older I get, the more audible my sigh will be as I sit in my chair. But good morning, good morning, and good morning to you. When I'm 75, I'm 55 now, when I'm 75 and I sit down on my chair, chair and I'm still doing this show, I'm going to go, ah. So if anyone's committed to watching this show long term, be warned. <laughs> but again, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Saturday morning, it's 5.39 a.m. I think it's February 24th. Happy Saturday to you. This is a show I've been doing uh, for quite some time, and it is a show about me talking, sharing some feelings, and sharing kind of the thoughts of this 55-year-old man that lives in Naperville, Illinois, which is a town of about 150,000, about 35 miles west of Chicago. Anyway, for those that have been watching a while, and I know we have some long-time watchers, <laughs> I'll tell you why I'm laughing. I'll tell you why I'm laughing right now, and I'll get back to <laughs> the second part of my intro in a bit. I live in a home with five children, a dog, two cats, and uh, um, I was trying to be quiet as I moved around Uh uh, this morning and got my coffee ready and I'm sliding the chair over and, uh, the metal legs of the chairs clang together <laughs> and when you're in a really quiet totally silent home at 5 30 in the morning the sound of metal rattling together <laughs> it's the last thing you want to make <laughs> fortunately I don't hear any disruption on anything upstairs so I think we might still be good but anyway, for those that have been watching a while, uh, you know, it's not just a show about me talking about bumping chairs together or talking about feelings, although most of the show is about me talking about feelings. But for those that have been watching a while, uh, you know, it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. <laughs> and with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me, and I am so excited to take my first sip at this early hour. My hope is that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, that you also have a nice hot cup of coffee in front of you. Uh, cheers to us. Oh. Mm. I think I like it. I'm going to have another sip and then we're going to evaluate what it is together. It's something different. <laughs> I know it, uh, you're all on the edge of your seat wanting to know Patience is a virtue. <laughs> mm. oh, I say, what is it? I don't think I'll read this bag. It's the Cameron's Vanilla Hazelnut. <laughs> I don't know why I'm worried about you reading it. I'm the one that doesn't have his reading glasses. But again, I think it says it's the Cameron's Vanilla Hazelnut. Haven't drank much hazelnut, certainly haven't drank much vanilla hazelnut in a while, and I've never had a bag of Cameron's. Picked up a couple bags at the store yesterday. Oh yeah, I went shopping. They say pricing uh, prices are coming or not going up as quickly, and maybe that's true, but they're still going up. And yesterday I went to the my favorite grocery store, and it's only favorite because it's really convenient, and they have a lot of good stuff, but the prices are horrible. Uh, unless you find something on sale. And let me tell you, the coffee I wanted to buy was not on sale and was at a, you know, occasionally they'll just raise the prices and then put a sales sticker at a somewhat less exorbitant price. <laughs> and that's what they did with the Starbucks coffees I was looking to buy, the Sumatra or the uh, what have you. And it just got, it was over $10 a bag. It was ten ninety nine a bag and that was their sale price. And I looked at it and I go, that's not their sales sale price. Usually it's $7.99 when it's on sale. So <laughs> me being a value shopper, I uh, was somewhat offended and <laughs> thought I would spread my wings and <laughs> try a different type of coffee. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm pleased. So let's have another sip. Ah. Oh. It's kind of nice mixing it up from time to time. And I'll tell you, I honestly, if people ask what type of coffee I drink, 
And as far as, you know, brands, whether it's Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or Cameron's or Seattle's Best or what have you, if it comes in a bag and it's uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars, uh, it's all pretty good to me. Uh, the difference I find is the uh, flavors, and I think this vanilla hazelnut's pretty interesting. So, anyway, how you guys doing? How you feeling? How'd you sleep? I think I slept pretty well, uh, but I woke up early. I woke up around 4:50. And uh, for a while, I was thinking, hey, I got to go back to sleep. Got to get more rest. It's still dark out. The house is quiet. But then I realized uh, a couple things. First of all, my mind started racing and started worrying and started fretting. And I've talked about it. I mean, this show's about this, but I've struggled with anxiety and uh, worry and fear. Uh, you know, usually during the night, that's when it strikes the hardest. Again, it was uh, about uh, just before five this morning on a Saturday. And uh, uh, I was worrying and afraid and thinking, stressing. <laughs> so I got up. Uh, but the other thing was last night when I went to bed, I, uh, uh, for the second night in a row, I watched a movie. And I might have said this the other day, but The Equalizer. And it stars Denzel Washington as some sort of bad, he's a good guy, he's a really good guy, but he's so tough, and he, the bad guys start coming after him, but he has no fear, and turns around and goes back after them, but anyway, really enjoyed the movie uh, a couple nights ago, he was almost like a superhero of tough guys, and uh, it was kind of fun to watch, but I used was, had been wanting to watch the uh, Equalizer 3 the last couple nights because what the heck if one's good three's got to be better you know what I'm saying <laughs> and uh, but the last couple nights I think I was worn out from my day and I just got comfortable and uh, instead of popping on a movie listen to I don't know what it's called but I don't know one of those relaxing Sofregio sequence some I forget the name of it but just kind of quiet relaxing kind of hypnotic uh, meditative music that your brain kind of just kind of starts absorbing if you will and uh, uh, I don't know pretty soon I start getting a little tired it was like 7:45 I go wow if I pop on the movie now it won't be over till 10. It's no fun watching a movie while you're struggling to stay awake. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, uh, for the second night in a row, I just decided to drift off into the uh, solfeggio frequencies, I think it's called, and uh, relax and not worry about watching a movie and forgive myself that I didn't uh, watch a movie uh, two nights in a row. So, maybe tonight <laughs> I'll watch The Equalizer 3, and if I do... I'll have a review for you tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, one more sip of coffee. Again, it's Saturday morning. It is nearly the end of February. We got a little dusting of snow last night, which is kind of refreshing. Uh, despite all of February, I don't think we got any snow that accumulated at all, if any. And we only had a couple of snowfalls in January, so it's going to be nice seeing the world uh, uh, covered with a layer of white today. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm uh, kind of looking forward to my day. I'm going to spend the day at home with my two little ones and uh, be the best dad I can for them. And uh, hopefully send out some little messages of love to some of my friends that uh, uh, I haven't reached out into uh, or reached out to in a while. So anyway, I'm looking forward to my day and I hope you're looking forward to your day as well. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week. I uh, hope you had a great night's sleep. I uh, hope you're excited about your weekend. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I uh, hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.